my plan was to come in the daytime at the waterfront, coastal area of Lisbon, and take some beautiful pictures in the daytime. However, I surprised myself because I was actually taking a video in another area and I keep walking because I lost my map. I don't know what I did with it yesterday. <laughs> and I walk right into the waterfront. And folks, I can tell you, I am so delighted with this place. And I'm gonna give you an idea of what's like right here at this moment. There's people sitting around, just relaxing, enjoying the Bayfront. The climate, the weather is very good, best climate in all of Europe. This city is unbelievable charming. Old historical buildings, maybe the oldest historical city in Europe, maybe. And I can tell you, it's very, very charming. I'm so happy that I made an effort to be here. Look in the distance, there's another statue on a, a hill over there. That could be a castle or something because it has an elevation. Uh, Lisbon has a lot of, this city has a lot of elevation. As you can see over there. Uh, I'll have to maybe return here tomorrow so you can get a better idea of, uh, get a pe better picture because right now, it's sort of, the camera only picking up a certain distance and I'm using my cell phone but I can tell you I stumbled onto this this evening because it was not my intention of coming here tonight and I'm not at all disappointed because in the evening time the charm even comes out more of the city. The charm of the city even reflects more on me or on you if you come here. And you will understand when you get here what I felt. These old historical buildings are the charm of the city. This monument here is, I believe, the main monument in the whole of Lisbon. What I'm showing you now is where I entered to come on this plaza. Because this is like the main plaza here in Lisbon. Uh, and you can see the waterfront is there and the big uh, 
I'm on a mentis here. There's restaurants right, o right over there. There's restaurants on that side and there's also a restaurant on the eastern side. So, and of course you can get here by the tram. You see there's a tram going there right there. There's a tram, yes. I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can see there's a tram. So, from certain areas in the city, you can take the tram and get here if you don't want to walk. But I'm telling you, if you walk in it has made it for me because <laughs> I love what I saw. You know, it's this street. Once you get through this arch here, it's wonderful. I mean, there's activity. It's about eight o'clock now, and a lot of, and it's a Wednesday, so uh, it's February seventh. And the climate is very good. Uh, I can walk here with a t-shirt. I mean, it's that good. So. I'm wearing one of those little hats. Because I thought it would be more cold, but it's not really. Uh, from Google research, I it told me the weather here was, was good, you know, after researching on, on, on Google. But I still came prepared, you know, <laughs> because a couple of years ago I've been to Bulgaria in, uh, in March. <laughs> And uh, it was really cold. I mean, uh, when I landed at the airport, it was snow all over. I was sliding, man. <laughs> so, believe me, this city is so charming. Look at this. This street that I'm entering now, this will go for, man, a couple miles. And it's on both sides of the streets, it's just like this. And if you turn east, west, <laughs> north or south, you're going to find a similar thing because this city is a walkable city. It's a charming city. It's a musty city. It's a safe city. One of the safest in Europe. It's an affordable city, uh, European, for European standard, it's affordable, probably the most affordable city in Europe. I think I can make that statement. And the good thing about it, it has the two most important things, good climate, and good vibe. Restaurants, affordable restaurants, and a lot of uh, bakeries and uh, like cafes all over the place. This reminds me of uh, a little bit of uh, Calia Avenida, Florida, in, uh, in Argentina. The only difference in Argentina they had where this guy is standing, singing a song here. And these people, they had people dancing the tango <laughs> in Argentina. But it has the same feeling, you know, like, um, if someone is watching who have been to Argentina, Buenos Aires, Argentina, and have seen Cali, or have been to Cali, Florida, Florida, yes, uh, 
is similar. Uh, this I may give the better because it's more organized and uh, it's more wi wide. And if you look, see I'm looking left, there's the restaurants on one side, restaurants on the other side, and you can walk that way, you can come, go this way, and you have the same feeling, you know. You have the same uh, admiration for, for, for the city because it's so charming. And the folks have been telling me that uh, the other city, which is Porto, which is also at the, at the coastal uh, city, it's uh, even more beautiful than uh, Lisbon. And it has trams that you can go up on cable, you know, cable trams. And you can go up in the air and uh, so. Uh, wow, man. Look at this, folks. So. I'm going to have to go over there, it's about three hours away, Porto, uh, another city, and I'm going to go over there before I leave and uh, maybe spend a night over there and return here, something so I can get a feel of that city as well. Oh man, just this spot here reminds me of Bulgaria, uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. Because <laughs> it's, it's a similar thing, you know, with the historical buildings. And, um, oh man. That's why I believe that Lisbon is so famous for the tourism because uh, a lot of tourists visit here every year and uh, even it's, it's it's actually not um, season because normally the season starts I think uh, from in March or April and when it's crowded with tourism so I like to come this time <laughs> when it's not that crowded you know and because look at it Imagine, you know, I have a lot of tourists here already and they're doing the same thing that I did. They came at the off season when you can do that because Lisbon don't really get that cold. You don't be snowing and all that shit. So you, you, you can come here and enjoy it and not be balling for the cold and all that. Wow. So charming, man. Okay, I can go that way. I can walk that way. I can walk that way. Well, I'm going to continue going before I get lost because I know I came this way. <laughs> Nice restaurant here. Look at this. I uh, see like a, a pasta area over here. Let me see what they have. They're big on pastry here as well, man. You like sweets? <laughs> you can come to this city. I want to try each and every one of those things. I guess I'll just try them one, one, a, one a week. So what you're seeing here, they have this all over the city. See that? That's the famous 
pastry here in Lisbon. Well, I'm back where I started. <laughs> it's amazing, man, this city. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, there's a plaza where I started. Yeah. I can go that way, I can go this way. So I'm gonna go where I'm familiar with. This is this way, direct, straight. What else? Looks like it's an interesting part of the city as well. This city has a lot of sightseeing spots, you know, like Miradors, we call them in Spanish, where you, you can elevate and see the whole city from elevation. And it's very, very beautiful. Uh, There's a couple castles. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly in there. If they have, they should have one for sure. I've seen on YouTube. I think I've seen a, a castle of the city. And um, on YouTube as well. And and where there's this castle overlooking Lisbon. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can find that castle and go and get you some nice make a nice video with some you know of the area I don't have a drone so <laughs> I can't fly a drone so I have to I have to elevate to give to give you an idea what the city is what it looks like from about <laughs> oh man but it's, this is this is charming, you know. This is so sweet. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the city. That's the beauty of travel, folks. You can't get enough of it if you love it. Ciao. Ciao.